All right, fans, welcome to the Saki Rocky Literature Club. <laughs> we're talking, we're, 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 we think they're getting dramatic over here in this bitch. Tell you what. Joey, to you. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I want to stick my hand up your ass. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you... I know you too well. <laughs> so... Siri smiles, shaking her head. <laughs> that's no good, Smurd! In fact, that's bad! <laughs> eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... I didn't make that stupid mistake that you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? It's hard not to! I'm very loud! <laughs> <laughs> I know something happened to you. There's no ex explanation for you to be like this. I'm pregnant! <laughs> Wow, just from me touching your shoulders, huh? Yeah, it's a health condition. <laughs> so, tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah! <laughs> Siri gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Smurd. But, you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're just really gonna make me say it, aren't you, Smurd? I'm a man. <laughs> direction I thought we were taking this. Not in the slightest. <laughs> I'm your father. That's impossible. <laughs> Search your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> oh. Oh, is this the big sh 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 <laughs> Shyamalan <laughs> twist? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy, without anyone worrying about me. I'm, I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me just to think about her? Or just not to think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it? that you've never told me about this. It's almost like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> because if I knew this, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I can do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Smurd. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. 
It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. <coughs> Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> Just then, I looked down at the stabbing pain in my chest. She speared me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to under but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, no Smurd! There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. You're lying! The model shows nothing! <laughs> I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. I'm having a heart attack! Help me! <laughs> I joined the club because I was selfish. But, but Sayori, I'm allergic to shellfish. <laughs> Not that, you idiot. And now you came here, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve Every last one! Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulder. Ow! I put her in the shoulder hole of the- Ow! <laughs> this time I pull her in into a tight embrace. Tap out! Ah! <laughs> Smurred! Sa Sayori. I- I don't care if, if you feel selfish. That's just it! Good! Don't care! <laughs> Because I'm selfish too. <laughs> we can be <laughs> selfish together. <laughs> I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Although napping club didn't sound half bad either. Is that a thing? Dude, yeah, they mentioned it. Like we should join long. that. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that just that, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about no! you. No. <laughs> You underestimate my pow! That defeats the purpose! <laughs> I wouldn't have- I wouldn't have it any other way. Smurred! <laughs> Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her in the chokehold of the century, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No! Don't do this to me! Please don't do this, Smurd. I. Sayori. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want for all I want for her is to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what, what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad at you if you don't. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Smurd. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Siri lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah? S oh, Sayori wipes her eyes. <laughs> if I could only spend the, the whole day with... Oh, the whole day here, I would. Of all the days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please, don't! If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to, and me to meet up that... To meet me at my house. <laughs> and at the very... At the very... At the very least... Do you want me... Do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that would be very good for me today! <laughs> You don't understand, right? Uh, not, not really. In fact, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little scared, too. Be not afraid. <laughs> this is the scariest moment of my life. It's, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. <gasps> don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Damn. Damn. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I think I shouldn't be worried too much. And we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me my house. <laughs> As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moan of panic. Yuri! Uh, uh. Thank goodness. <laughs> You're a little early. <laughs> Perhaps some technical difficulties. Yeah, a few. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Are you, were you waiting for me a long time? Oh, just for hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. What is no one else? Does no one else live in my house? <laughs> you always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried home more on my way home. Uh, I I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Well, it should be common sense to that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. <clears throat> I I did manage to find everything I asked you. To buy as well. Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. But it wasn't fine. I take Yuri to my room. First thing she does is glance around nervously. It makes me feel anxious. It, it, it's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... Uh... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I'd be really embarrassed if my room would be a mess while you were here. <laughs> well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which is in the process of opening a death drawer of mine. Yuri finds my Caillou Hentai collection. No! Uh, uh, you, you too are into Caillou Hentai? Oh my god, I finally found someone who shares my interests! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I was thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if to making sh sure she's keeping track of them. 
So, uh, wait. <laughs> so, um, should we get started? I think we should get end. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>